Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're, you're watching 726 Harrison. And our first guest is Madison Oswalt. She is Miss North Central Arkansas yes. Outstanding Teen. And I want you to tell us a little bit about that particular pageant and all that comes with it. But I, And then you can go on and talk about your platform and how the our community can help with that. Absolutely. Well, like as you said, I'm Miss North Central Arkansas's Outstanding Teen, and with this title, I'm able to go to the Miss Arkansas's Outstanding Teen pageant, and so Miss North Central Arkansas Outstanding Teen was a prelim to go to this pageant, and in okay. order to compete in this prelim and Miss Arkansas's Outstanding Teen, you have to compete in four different stages. You have to compete in an interview, which is a, with a private panel of judges for about eight minutes. Then on stage, you have to do fitness wear, um, on stage question and evening gown, and talent. So that's, I love doing everything that I do with the Miss, Miss Arkansas organization. And my platform that I speak about is volunteering with a purpose. I chose this platform because I wanted um, something that I could really do that I love. And mm -hmm. I didn't know, but I started volunteering when I was just six years old. Um, I was the voice on a recorder for autistic children for words that they were learning, like food, drink, oh, hungry. Oh, wow. So of course at that age I didn't know I was volunteering. But once I started competing in this pa in the pageant world, um, I just thought of something, I need something that I've always been doing, that I love doing, and that's not hard. So mm -hmm. I was like, volunteering is perfect for me. <laughs> wow, okay, and then you have a particular volunteer um, thing that you wanna talk about, I yes. think, as yes, far as in our community can help somewhat with that so yes ma'am I am having the opportunity of organizing a food drive for the rice depot Arkansas rice depot and what I'm asking is for people to drop off non-perishable food items or even donate money to um, the rice depot and the drop-off place is at any community first bank okay. community first bank have been um, very courteous in letting us um, partner with them and do you know, can you give us a little insight about the Arkansas Rice Depot? I mean, since you've chosen that to, yes. to be here. Yes, the Arkansas Rice Depot is located in Little Rock, and the drop-off place actually here in Harrison is Lutheran Church. And the reason why I really wanted to get in touch with them and work with them is because one in five Arkansans are... Um, food insecure and one in four kids are food insecure so I, I love working with kids and just really helping them so just using my platform to um, drive with this food drive is really what I focused on doing. Okay. And what kind of food do you want people to drop off? Non-perishable food, ramen noodles, um, mm -hmm. peanut butter, anything like that that's non-perishable would be great. Okay. And how, how long is, is this drive going on? It is May 18th through the 29th. Okay. okay. And then uh, I think we have a number on the screen if there if you have questions or we want to throw out your number, right? Okay. Yes, it's my mom's being very courteous. <laughs> and that number is 870-688-1952 if you have any questions. Now you're a junior. I'm a sophomore. Are you so oh, you're a sophomore. Yes. I guess I Duh. Okay. Um, and you were talking a little bit before your segment about what you want to do, what you think you want to do. So why don't you go ahead and tell our viewers. I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up. I wanted to be a vet ever since I was two years old. My dad actually took me to his farm that he grew up on to try, kind of change my mind to see if I really <laughs> wanted to be a vet and took me through the ropes on the farm. And I loved it even more. I have two horses. I used to have 15 chickens, but I love being able able to um, play with my horses and ride them and do anything that I can outside with them. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll stay in Arkansas? Ah, good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. You I don't haven't know. actually mm -hmm. thought that far. I know. I don't know. Now, if you were to win the pageant that you'll be going to in June, what happens then? Do things change or are you still will be in school. I mean, how does that work? How does that play in? Well, the, in the Miss Ark, if you win Miss Arkansas, that's when you have to take a year off of school. But okay. when winning Miss Arkansas's Outstanding Teen, you have the same exact life. Of course, you get to pick how many events you go okay. and speak at and do. So I'll probably be gone every weekend doing different things for the state and with my platform. And obviously with this, your parents have to be commended because without oh, yes. them, you wouldn't be able to, no. to do all that. So. I love my support system. Well, we thank you. Yeah. If there's yes. anything else you want to uh, throw out there, this is the time. Or Again, I'm doing a um, food drive for the Rice Arkansas Rice Depot, and it's being held May 18th through the 29th. So if you guys just bring your non-perishable food items to any community first bank, that would be gr very grateful. All right. 
Appreciate thank you. Thank you being so here. Thank much, you for Matt. having me. Thank you. You're welcome. Up next, we have Eddie Bartlett. He's going to be talking about the Crawdad Days and the special event that they'll be having there, which is be the car show. And they've changed some things up a little bit. We'll find out all about that in just a couple minutes. Stay with us.